Hi guys, so it's time for another extinction specific taming guide. This time it is the Velonosaurs. Now these guys are basically walking Gatling turrets. So if I come out of this mode here, if I go into C mode, so I'm just pressing the C key there and I'm doing that. So I'm going to show you the sort of damage they can do. All right, so there's a pack of raptors here. And as you can see, they're just absolutely making mincemeat of them. So he absolutely nuked that set of raptors there um, and they can potentially do that to you in the wild so they can do that sort of spike turret attack to you in the wild which obviously makes them quite dangerous. Now before I go into how we're going to tame them if that's the case I want to do a little addendum is at the moment on single player and unofficial I'm not sure about official but unofficial and single player they don't damage you if the PVE setting is on. So that means that if you're on a server like that has a PVE setting on, you should be able to just go over there on something like, you know, a dire bear and just shoot them in the face, essentially. Be able to catch them, shoot them while you're running, bowl of them, whatever. You can bowl of these guys. I'm not sure if that's going to change, so I'm going to show you how to tame them in the case where they do damage. So in the case where they do damage, you're going to need to take, I'd say, at least four regular stone gateways. Have a look at my inventory here. As you can see, just... Regular stone gateway, and you're going to want a couple of gates to cap off the end. And we're just going to fly and find one, find one, freeze it, throw the gates over the top. We're going to be going down to the desert biome, so that's down in the bottom right of the map. And we often find a lot of good leveled ones around the sort of south to southwest area. I'll point out what things are in there so you can figure out where you are once you get down there. Right, so I'm in the desert biome, and this over here is kind of the south and southwest side of it. And we find a lot of them over by that metal structure there, and kind of coming all the way around there. Basically, these slopes that lead down into where this red obelisk is, they seem to also have quite a lot of them spawning. So let's go and find one, I'll show you this in action. Right, there's a wild one over there. So what I'm going to do is just show you uh, how dangerous they can be, so let's... Go and land here. Look at that. Look at that. Jeez. Okay, so that's how dangerous they can be, and this is why we need to be able to freeze them. Wow, I just watched one of these guys <laughs> just nuked an entire pack of Morella tops. Jesus, that's scary. Right, okay, so let's go do this guy. Oh girl, right, where is it? So let's just go straight over and freeze. Right, and now we're just going to put a gate just ahead of it. We'll put a gateway on there. Right, and we'll pull... It's getting... Uh, it's getting obstructed, but that might not be close enough together. But let's have a look. Will it be able to get out of there? No, it won't be able to get out of there. Now, it still can do damage through those gaps, so it's probably why it's sort of come over here. It's got its head stuck in there, so we'll go from this side. There we go. Shouldn't be able to shoot around there now. Right, and now it's just a case of being really careful when you're tranking this guy, because if he turns to shoot you, hide. Also, probably want to stand a little bit back from them as well, because they do have a spike attack, a sort of AOE spike attack. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> right, so, I did actually break my rifle there. I forgot that I didn't have a very good one on me. Now, I was also going to say, one of the things you might want to do is, once you've got this guy in, you see I only used four there, so you might want to take a few extra gates, is sort of build a gate here and then put another gateway on it, just in front of it, because they do do damage even through these gateways here. So you you might find that if you sort of run around the front of a gate, you can't get away from it, where if you stand here, you're fine. But, to be perfectly honest, as long as you stand like in front of these pillars, they shouldn't be able to get you. But it might be worth making a point of giving yourself some extra cover, just in case you find that they are shooting through the pillars, because they still will do damage even when their heads are sticking through like something. Now, once you've actually got away from their initial aggression, so I actually ran away to sort of rebuild this rifle. 
you'll find that when you start shooting them inside one of these cages, they don't necessarily get that aggressive. And there we go, we drop that fairly easily. They don't take many trank arrows to get them. And there we go, once it's down, you just need to be putting it uh, and sort of the best sort of meat you can, best sort of raw meat. So mutton or raw prime, or if you're able to make kibble, you're going to be using the regular kibble. The regular it's kind of used as a placeholder for stuff at the moment. So I don't know if that's going to change in the future, but you just want the specialised regular kibble. Right. So I didn't see the point in making you watch me tame that out. Um, from that point, there, once you kept it safe, you're all good. I will say though, I just can't reiterate enough that even having that pen doesn't necessarily make you safe. You do need to have a backup place to run behind because they will stick their head through things and they will shoot you. As for the skills that these guys have got, they've got the skills that you can use as a rider. So you can press C to go into this mode or whatever button it would be on controller. And if you come out of that mode, you can also right click and do quite a lot of damage. Really good for when you kind of get surrounded. You do want to make sure you have a butt ton of stamina on these guys. Like, so don't even think about other stats if you're going to be wanting your riding until you have a huge amount of stamina because they use up so much of it to sort of do this firing mode. If you get one with really low stamina, you're like, you won't be able to kill anything just because you'll just run out of stamina too quickly. Now they also have a turret mode where if you jump off of them and you go to behavior and you go enable turret mode, they will shoot anything that comes nearby. Now you do need to have them on aggressive for that to work. Also, when you jump on them, it disables turret mode. So that's actually pretty cool. You don't have to worry about sort of getting off them, they'll kill crap. So I'm gonna show you the uh, sort of damage they can do again. So let's just this, and then we can map that and just. Or just fight it. Like that. That's just your regular left click there. While I'm editing the video, I've just realized there's something I forgot to mention when I was recording, and that is that they will do all of these skills when you've got them on follow as a pack. So if you tell them to attack something, they will actually use their Gatling gun, and if things get close, they will use their spike attack. So you can use them as a pack creature as well. Just thought I'd add that in there before I started talking about the turret mode. For the turret mode, uh, essentially, same thing. They, they'll engage from a fairly big distance. If you want them to attack anything before it attacks them, just go start aggressive. There we go. Behavior target mode. There, just killed that poor dodo. Now it takes a while for them to sometimes target things. So having several of them around can be pretty good. I think I was trying, it's killing. I wish I didn't do this. Pew pew pew. They also drop flyers to the ground when they're in this mode as well. So that is another really useful thing. So they're pretty damn awesome in turret mode. Now the damage that they do in turret mode is not uh, at all influenced by their actual melee damage. They just do their base damage. Everyone we've got has only ever done 20 damage in uh, that mode. But obviously the advantage is that they don't use stamina when they're in the turret mode and you're not on them. So you can potentially get the same damage by having multiple of them around. Right, and so that's about everything for these guys. So they've got that, they're basically a really good ranged dino. You can put them on turret mode, they're quite useful. Remember if you're on PvE mode, you just literally need to run up and shoot them. They really won't do that much damage, especially if you're on a dino. If you're on PvP mode, obviously you need to do it this way. And do, once again, make sure you have that back up there to, uh, to sort of hide behind because they can shoot through things. Hope this helped you out. Have fun. Catch you all soon.